Alright, what's up people? This is Sith Urian. Right now we're going to be jumping into episode 5 of series 5 of The Last Kingdom. And quick recap before we do, because the last episode was a real hard one to kind of sit through. Um, yeah, last episode we lost Athelfled. Um, she has now passed away. And, and man, like just... It really sucks. It really does suck. But out of it, out of that whole entire situation, I think we got maybe my favourite scene of the whole entire season so far. Uhtred and Elswith. My God. Even trying to edit, even trying to edit the episode, that scene choked me up so much, man. Elswith is such an amazing actress. And I love their like dynamic of their relationship over the the last couple of seasons how she went from hating him to now being there in in this such a painful moment Udrid being the only one to comfort her just that scene to me was amazing but Edward has now took over Mercia and like I said in like the last video I don't agree with with how he did it but I understand why he did it you know, he's trying to unite the kingdoms. He's trying to fulfill his father's dream. But I do think there is ways that he could have done it better. Um, than just killing the older men and shit. Uh, older men, so Yeah, just... <sighs> such a fucked up situation. But the question is now, is what now? Where do we go from here? Because we're only halfway through. So there needs to be some type of new threat. Some type of new problem that kind of comes up. Um... I don't know, man. Like, could it be... Because I've been thinking about this. Like, could it be literally a type of fallout from what's happened in Mercia now? Some type of, like, resistance in Mercia or something, you know? Um, could Etherhelm start twisting and manipulating stuff even more and we get, like, crazy infighting? Because in, like, the last episode, Etherhelm was kind of been put in his place a little bit. Uh, so I don't know if he might lean to more drastic measures now to kind of take control or could we get more of a threat to do with the danes you know um some type of new new leader with a new force coming over to attack um i don't know man like, like i kind of said it at the end of like the last episode like like maybe hairston could turn up again because we've not seen him in a while now and and it would be kind of cool to see hairston kind of come back because i kind of like hairston but yeah it, it would be kind of cool to see him come back into the fold a little bit more um who knows, man? It could be everything. It literally could be the, the fucking fallout from Mercia, Etherhelm and the threats and Danes. It, it could be everything combined. Who knows? Oh, the other thing is Breda. Breda and the priest. Um, they're together and I think she's... <sighs> Hopefully she's going to be on this quest to find peace now. But what, like, where does that quest take her? I don't know. But I've got like this bad feeling that Breda is gonna find peace. Like she'll she'll stop being so fucking angry and find like inner peace and come to terms with with uh, everything and losing a daughter and stuff. Only for her to be punished for her actions. You know what I mean? Coming in with the Dane forces, attacking Uhtred's son, attacking Uhtred's daughter, everything. I I think she'll end up being punished for that in some way. I don't know, man. With this being like the final season as well. Who knows where this is going to go, man. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we're going to get into this. If you're interested in watching the next two episodes, they should be up on my Patreon. I've been having a little bit of copyright blocks and problems and, and stuff. And it's kind of put me behind on some of the content. But I'm going to spend like, the next few days just filming and trying to get them up. If you want to know how far I am into filming, check the full lengths. Because the full lengths, I, I don't really have copyright issues with those. So you can see how far I am into filming. But the edited versions will be up as soon as I can get them past the uh, copyright barricades. You know, um, yeah, we're going to get into this. <sighs> Let's do this, man. No news of Father Pure Lord King. But I imagine Citrica will be unsettled by the news from here. Perhaps we should make overtures to reassure them. Scotland too. Let King Constantine know we are minded to renew the alliance. My lord, I do not serve you. I'm here only to say my farewell. Whilst I understand your reasons, I cannot be a part of this. Wow, okay. So he's walking. 
I feel just sickened with it all. The brutality. The way he dishonors mother. Because you are a fine and true young man and will one day be a mighty king. Why does he not name me the Ethelic? Some men cannot think of their own demise. It frightens them. But with your permission, I will find a way to resolve this. I need to be certain that nothing can be traced back to me. The men can bear none of my insignia. Yes, I understand. And they will say they are from King Sigtrigger. I know what I'm doing. You do realize this could start a war between Christian and Dane? Hopefully, yes. Ideally, the king falls in battle, and Elfweird inherits a land free of the heathen curse. I have learned nothing is as effective as the stench of death. Wow, okay, so he's gonna sh really shit stir then. Cause some drama with Sig Trigger. Please. Be careful. It could be a trick for thieves. Stand back until they're gone. Lady, please. We must help this traveller, my lady. Do not be soft-hearted, stay. He is a soul in need. What happened here with you? <laughs> Which one of these is the farm girl from Lawes? I am the visionary. Whose men are you? We were sent by King Sigtrigger. Oh, shit. This is the shit stir, but... Oh, no. Ethel, help me... He has no idea his daughter's there, does he? Pernstone. Oh shit! Very pretty. What was I just saying at the start? <laughs> Are you pilgrims? <laughs> Travelers with the dead queen. <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? Etherhelm got his own daughter killed. Fucking hell. He had no idea that she was traveling with him. But really quick though, can I just say how badass like fucking Heston looked with the new haircut? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> You have a good life here, Father. Now that Lady Ethelfled has departed, you could find a wife, have more children. One son lost to someday, one now lying injured. Toto fought alone for a life, I would not curse another child with me as a father. What of the son who is hidden, who does not know his father? We do not know that. It is not safe for you to know that. I was saying that he had another son, didn't he? I was just going to say, what about the other one? War will come from this. Why would Sig Trigger do something so stupid? He has not. This is not his command. His brother then? Or Breda? Perhaps Mercians seeking revenge. There's quite a few who hate Edward now. This is a bad omen, Lord, for all of us. I fear this death will only deliver more death. Yeah. Heston, come with me to Etherwich. Tell them what you've heard. Let me come to Etherwich. I'll stand. Let him. I will have no part in this. You're already a part of it. We all are. Yeah. If they hear the story of Sigtrigger killing a queen, there will be a slaughter beyond Breed at her worst. Yeah, like, how will rain down, isn't it? Like, the queen of the fucking, like, the queen's been killed. Edward would go to war with everyone. <laughs> Because he has to, it's, it's the honour, like, you've killed his queen. Edward does not want battle with Daneland or with Danes. Come with me to Winchester and seek a peace. They would execute me before I'm within the gates. I will stand for you. The war should end, Breda. The war you started, and the war within you. Yeah. Father Purlik. I accept your offer of safe passage and protection. Take me to Uhtred. My offer was to Edward. He is the king. But Uhtred is the enemy with whom I must reconcile. If I am to come to peace, he's the one. What? I thought you believed I was ready for redemption. <sighs> What's her plan? <clears throat> Hung from a tree like a piece of rotten meat. A visionary, a symbol of your common people murdered. Let us join together now to confront 
this same threat before Sig Trigger and his brother unite to slaughter us all. Where did you hear this news? You know I have friends in every town, but I urge you, Lord King, you cannot delay a response. Fury must be met with fury. All the common people will act on your behalf. I would like to have this properly confirmed. Yeah. You choose now to act with caution when you have shown such boldness of late? Pilgrims may be resting peacefully in Lindisfarne as we speak. Or killers maraud your lands without consequence. Perhaps, but I will not be moved to retaliate until I am certain. Is there truth in it? I can make inquiries. If he is correct, it would indeed cause dismay and great division between Christian and Dane. Yeah. I've observed you have not yet left Mercia. I hope I've reassured you I'm not wholly impulsive. I need men here I can trust. He knows he's not going to go anywhere, man. He's been loyal to Mercia for years. He's going to stay loyal, isn't he? He's not going to abandon now. Especially if it looks like um, Athelflaed's daughter is in danger. Let me assure you, if I were attacking Wessex, I would do more than strangle the queen. To be fair, Uhtred said this. Who do you think is responsible? This is the work of Edward himself. He hated the queen, and he hates us. He has killed her to justify a war. He does not want to battle. But when he hears of this, he will have to retaliate. Which yes. is why we have sent men to our border. I will go to him with your denial. Though were you to journey with me, this matter could be settled easily. I leave your weak undefended once again. I have given my word. He suffers from his allies deserting him. I did not desert you. I have men this very moment preparing to track Breeder. Yet we sit alone in Etherwedge. I'm trying to save you from a battle you will not win. Edward has twice the silver, twice the armies. Now he has mercy. I am not afraid of a man who cannot even protect his own wife. Wow. It's like, yeah, you've, you've raised a real fiery one there, Richard. <laughs> you don't know if you should be angry or proud. <laughs> Jesus. Sigtrigger has, in essence, called for war. No, he has warned us not to approach. It is different. I do not understand this reluctance. Ethelstan, is Uhtred with you? No, he is visiting his daughter. Now your greatest warrior has abandoned his post at Rumkofa to join Sigtrigger. Lord Uhtred is a man of honor. He goes only to see his child, so do not inflame the matter. Be wiser. Oh. Be wiser. <laughs> Rather than press for battle, I would ask you take a gift to the Scots. They will be nervous of trouble on their border. Then, if that is your order, I shall gladly leave Aylesburg. Edward, man, it's like, he's at your side saying, go to war, go to war, go to war. Of course he wants it, like. If Edward cannot be provoked, perhaps Sieg Trigger can. He's clearly anticipating an attack, so let's give this Oh, he's such a little wants. shit. I really don't like him. How is he going to react now when he finds out that his daughter was killed? I cannot be seen to go against my king's command. But if any of you wishes to avenge this, there will be warm fires to welcome you in my camp. What the fuck? For too long, we have let the Dane threat live alongside us, welcomed them into our homes while they plot bloody outrage. Any man who wishes to avenge themselves is free to go to seek the justice your king should seek. Whose men are you? You come from the king. Dane murderers are hiding here and you must hand them over. Of course. Brother, no Dane here would kill Queen Elfled. They are good people. Why'd you speak of Queen Elfled? What a dickhead. Soldiers arrived. They say they're from Edward, but I'm not sure I believe her. I'll go. No. I can raise the men of Rumkova. They know me, and no one will notice me leave. Do that. 
send them up and then wait down river until I say it's safe to return here. I got a real bad feeling, man, that some shit's gonna go down here now. He's gonna take word back. That's how Etherhelm will find out that he's indirectly killed his daughter. Brendan! These men have been here before! Angel from Kofa have murdered our queen! Are you fucking kidding me? Big boy! <laughs> Oh, he's gonna have to choose, any. he? Oh, no. You fucking kidding me? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Fucking baby priest, man. It's actually made me really angry. Fucking Atherhelm. <sighs> Piece of shit. We told no one the Queen rode with us. Her men folk would have forbidden it. Did they say why they wanted the Queen? They did not want her. They came for me. They did. They spoke my name. But the Lord guided her. She stood for me claimed my place in the slaughter. I wanted only to see the Holy Isle. Why did St. Cuthbert lead me? Then let this happen. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Oh, Finn. Killing a queen I follow, but who would want to kill a farm girl? Someone who wishes to stir the people. Breeder. Just too sly for her. Whichever. I write to tell the king he can perhaps be restrained if he knows his wife was not the prey. Yeah. This is slightly on the light side, Putra. I should be properly compensated for the hospitality I've shown the girl. You were compensated by whatever you stole from the dead queen. <laughs> People did not entirely change, Heston. <laughs> <laughs> we were close in spirit once. When she was first brought to the palace, I felt. Someone should tell her father. That falls to me. As penance for ignoring his warnings about the Danes. She was dishonored in life, so she will be honored in death. We must ready both armies to extract justice from Sig Trigger. His wife. For mine. No fucking way is that happening. You really think Udry is just going to stand back and let you take his daughter? Nope. I did not know her well. But, but you humped her husband nonetheless. Ignored the bonds of matrimony, gave your flesh freely and brought the wrath of God. That is your own guilt speaking. Yeah, Do not you can't blame her for it all, man. Before. I'm really intrigued with um, Etherhelm. Like, is he going to be pissed off that he's made a mistake? Or was he going to look at it like, okay. You know, kind of like it. It's not what he had planned, but it's it will move his plan into more motion that, that his grandson will become king. You know what I mean? But then he could actually genuinely be upset. But then that will show that he really did love his daughter. And she wasn't just a pawn in his plan. Like I said, I'm kind of intrigued to see his reaction when he finds out. Men, women and children herded into my church and slaughtered. All unprovoked. All taken when they had no sword. What reason did they give for the king's wrath? They claimed it was revenge for the death of the queen. Their reason is to cleanse all Danes from Saxon lands. 
Although they have lived alongside them for many years, they do not want them there. Your new king and queen will protect you. You are no longer people of Mercia, but live under the shield of Jorvik. Christians will not harm you here. Ordinary Christians do not hate Danes. And yet, Edward will no longer let us thrive here. We will avenge you. Fucking good. People are going to go to war on the back of a misunderstanding. On the back of a little shit fucking shit throwing. Citric? News is being spread in Nelva with talk of confronting the Danes in battle. How did the news come? Lord Ethelhelm. He spoke of the dead visionary and pressed for vengeance, but did not speak of the Queen. I did not know. She journeyed in secret. What if he planned it? There you go. Putting it all together. Ethelhelm was unaware his daughter traveled with the pilgrims. So he arranged to kill the visionary to poison the people against the Danes. Yep. Then I almost pity him. Do not pity him. We must alert Edward to the enemy within. Lord, what are you doing here? Elfwinness and Bookstar. What news of room cover? Where's Osfer? Finnan. Where is Osfer? Finnan! Tell us. Where's Osfer? Fucking hell. <sighs> Two episodes in a row now, we've been hitting hard. <laughs> if the king seeks to threaten us, we retaliate, even if it means fighting against those that I love. Wow. It's just gonna turn to shit, isn't it? In three days! Our army will destroy Edward's army upon the high hills. In three days, we slaughter him! Tell the coward boy the battle place. Tell him Cedrica will be waiting. And with it being like the final season, it's like anything can happen. And we've already proven that anyone can die now. We've lost two main characters in two episodes. Your daughter was traveling with the pilgrims and was also slaughtered. I saw her body in Rumcova, Lord. She's been taken to her husband. Lord, it's not my fault. Had you said, I think it is quite clear where the blame lies. Okay, so he's in shock. Understandable, you've made a plan that indirectly killed your own fucking daughter. Don't you fucking dare. If he kills himself now and people go to war, like, you've got no one to blame. My grandson's fortunes are ruined without the queen. Our influence dies. <laughs> and make them rise again. Finish what you've started. Plus we need to keep you alive so you can be punished at the end for all your fucking plotting and scheming. <laughs> but in a way, this is just gonna make it more deadly now, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a threat going into the future. <laughs> Wow, just can't believe they killed the baby priest. Two episodes in a row now, we've lost two main characters. And it's something that I've always said, I've always believed, with the final season, anything can happen. We could lose anyone. And with Stig Trigger and Uta's daughter willing to go to war against fucking Edward. Well, we're not willing, they are going to go to war now against Edward. And Edward ain't going to back down. I think if Uhtred could sit Edward down and talk to him and tell him, what's happened of course edward ain't going to want to go to war but because danes have been slain now that's just going to cause problems with them looking to get revenge so it's either way there's still going to be some type of battle i kind of called it though right at the start though then i was okay could it be this this or this <laughs> the infighting has spilled over into threats from the danes and absolutely mental man it's just so hard to see like 
one of the main characters go, but most importantly, seeing other characters react to it. Like seeing Finn and break down crying, oh my god. Um, and then seeing Uhtred being told the news and just see the, the, the shock on his face. I mean, at this rate, how many characters are going to be in the movie afterwards? Because <laughs> I know there is a movie af after this season, so it's like, who's going to be left standing? <sighs> yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to have to kind of keep this kind of short because I want to get loads of filming done today. So I'm going to have to wrap this up. But yeah, just, I can't believe they killed off another main character, man. It's great seeing Hairston back in the show, and he looks really badass with the new haircut. But yeah, just... I, I, I can already tell this is going to be a real hard one to edit as well. Man. Um, but yeah, give this video a thumb up if you like it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't already, man. All right? I've been Sith Furion, and I'll catch you in the next one. Man.